a forceful crackdown on fake pills. Police are running after him. The police arrest him and seize the drugs he's selling. Over a three hour period, eight men are arrested for selling counterfeit drugs. We've seen falsified, we've seen substandard medicines. Medicines have been sold at this market for over 50 years. This is an over dramatization of the pain. It's not done that way for any drugs. Many of the shops don't have registered pharmacists in them, and the medications are stored above room temperature. Are you licensed to sell injections? We find a shop selling illegal pills. Most of these illegal drugs come from Asia, smuggled through Nigeria's borders by middlemen looking to make a profit. But not all the stores here sell fake drugs, and this makes it difficult for authorities to close down the area. Some hospitals and pharmacies get their supplies from the market simply because drug manufacturers do not sell directly to them. Those that don't go through a complex chain of sometimes up to 20 middlemen to get their drugs. And this makes it easier for fake ones to pass through. I was doing a short procedure. 15 minutes into the procedure, after I had opened up the patient, uh, the patient woke up. And there was nothing we could do to restrain the patient. There was nothing that was working, actually. So all we need to do is to physically restrain the patient and, um, until the procedure was completed. And that was my first experience with fake drugs. The patient was lucky, but fake medicines can be fatal. I had a friend, he died from taking a fake malaria pill. And I was devastated just thinking that it could have been anybody that could have taken that medication from their hospital, their trusted source. Vivian sets up a website that links genuine drug manufacturers directly with clinics. So far, she signed up 300 hospitals and pharmacies, but until she gets more funding, she can't expand. Nigerian authorities say they're working with China and India to crack down on the import of fake drugs, and they're trying to close this market by the end of next year. Until that happens, millions of lives will be at risk. Didi Akiyelure, BBC News, Lagos.